are more about the Earth. We already saw how it looks like before. But a bit of uh, terminology. So this line here in the center is called the equator. Um, the more you go north, these are called parallel lines. They are called lines, uh, but they are actually circles. They go, they go around the Earth. Um, I have to say that these are not straight lines. The only straight line here is the equator. It means that if you're going to go and follow it in one direction, you will end up in the same place just by going in a straight line. But these here are not. It may be counterintuitive, but they are not. Um, you can imagine, for example, the line that is going to be here on the top, very, very close to the North Pole. So let's say that this is the North Pole. And if you want to go around this line, then you're not going straight. You have to turn. I'm turning. So basically, um, anything apart from the equator in this north-south direction is not a straight line physically. It's going to require turning more and more and more as you're going to the north. Uh, you have parallel lines also to the south. Uh, and these are usually notations for that. And prime meridian also a straight line. So uh, this is very similar to the equator, but makes a right angle there. Almost nothing is here. So in this point where you have the coordinates 0, 0, there is nothing there. It's just uh, ocean. But funny thing is that digitally, a lot of things are there. Because if you're going to write some code that makes an error with your geolocation, it's going to have null values, typically represented as zero. So digitally, a lot of data on the internet is at zero, zero, the ones that are caused by errors. So if you're going to visualize some, I don't know, photos on the map using their geolocation and the device has some error, for instance, it's going to appear to be there, even though you're somewhere else. Um, this prime meridian and all other, uh, these, these are called, um, I think they're called lines of longitude. I'm not exactly sure about terminology. They might be also called other meridians. Um, they are different from the parallel lines because they all meet in the poles, parallel lines never meet. And all of these uh, other meridians are straight lines. So you can kind of dissect the Earth using them in this kind of uh, similar way as you open an orange. You can kind of visualize it that way. OK. Now. The Earth has a, ra uh, a radius, and we saw this value already before. Yeah. So 6,371 kilometers is the approximate radius of the Earth. The average radius, of course, you have sometimes, I don't know, Mount Everest or, or something, and it's going to be a very big deformation, but very big means 6,300. 80 kilometers on top of Mount Everest, so not, not that uh, big difference. Um, and coordinates of locations look like that. So these are actually called uh, WJS coordinates. It stands for World Geodetic System coordinates. And they tell you how much north and how much to the east or west or south you have to go from the um, that zero zero location to find a place and I chose here Tuusniemi because this is a city 
very important city in the middle between Joensu and Kuopio. So I want to be fair on both sides. <laughs> so not that big city, but uh, it's there. OK. Of course, sometimes you might need more accuracy. So if you identify a city as big as Tuusniemi, this is enough. But you may need uh, more accuracy if you, for example, want to record somebody's location for sports tracking purposes, whether you want uh, fine detail so you don't get uh, er errors there, calculating speed or whatever. Okay, now, this seems like a fake. I mean, we are living in 3D. We are living on a three-dimensional world. How can I just represent an object with two numbers? The truth is, it's not two numbers, it's three numbers. The third one is here, it's the radius. Because if you, okay, if you consider this example, and you are here, or if you are going to be here, you have the same coordinates. You're just on top of each other. You have, you're going to be a little bit uh, at a different radius uh, from the center of the Earth. But that is implied in many applications. The truth is that anything at your location and everything above you you, the space station, uh, the sun, if you're living on the Earth somewhere where the sun is exactly on top of you, all of them have exactly the same coordinates in this WJS space. And aliens or whatever. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it's actually a trick. We are not using two numbers to localize. We have three, but the third one is implied. So now the question is, is there a way to have a conversion from these coordinates to the XYZ coordinates, to the XYZ space? And this is going to be our uh, focus next. Basically, we want to know the location in XYZ for these two numbers, for the latitude and longitude. And I'm going to go through it a bit fast because it's basic geometry. And I'm going to also rely on you for, for numbers and ideas how the formula will go. So let's see how awake you are. We want to know the value of Y. Now, we have the Earth radius here, we know it. And we know also the angle here. This is the 62.81. Can somebody tell me what is Y? Sine of 62.81. Okay, is it that? Divided by the radius of the divided by the radius of the y. Is it divided by multiplied? Sorry. Yes. So okay, sinus of this angle, let's call it alpha, is going to be y divided by r. And it's going to be the sine of 62.81. So r becomes multiplied by this to give you the, the value of i. OK, but anyway, that's really all you need to know for this. Since we are here, can somebody tell me, and by the way, this is the value if you're going to calculate the, uh, the number. Now, can somebody tell me the value for r? No. We have same angle here. 
we have same uh, <coughs> radius here, but we want to know a different side of the triangle. So same angle is here. And cosine is? Yeah. Yeah, and it's going to be this value. Now, for the next step for x and uh, z, I want you to look at this small circle. And this small circle has a radius of a small r, so the new r that we calculated and we already have now. So looking at that circle, it looks like that. And here we want to calculate the value of x which is exactly the same that we did before for y. If you, if you notice here, uh, x is going to be the sine of the small r this time instead of the, the big r. Uh, sorry, uh, sine of this other angle. So this is now where the longitude is going to, to play. So the angle here, sine of, let's call it uh, 28, multiplied by, now we have the small r, because the circle is smaller than before. And then you have to calculate also the value of z, and the value of z is identical to the small r, so it's going to have the cosine. So these are now three coordinates that show the same place, but in a totally different form. In a form that actually should be more familiar to you from school, math, life, uh, I, I don't know. But anyway, uh, we will now take a small break, maybe a minutes break, and um, after that, we try to implement this to see if we can show Tuusniemi on our Lamad Earth. <laughs>